In this demonstration, we are going to show you the EPUB support in Oxygen XML. In the first part of the demonstration, we'll publish DuckBook and DIRA content to EPUB. Then we'll validate and check for completeness an EPUB file and correct all detected errors. In the last part, we'll see how we can search and update content in an EPUB. We'll start with an existing project from the Oxygen sample files. Open the sample XML file from the DuckBook file folder. We create a transformation scenario that takes as input the DuckBook file. Then we run it and see the EPUB output file in the system's default EPUB browser. Now we'll open the flowers that did a map in the Data Maps Manager view. To convert it into an EPUB, we need to create a transformation scenario. We'll use out-of-the-box settings, but you can further customize your scenario. Once the transformation is over, the output will be open in the system's default EPUB browser. Another useful feature is the ability to validate and check for completeness an EPUB file. In our demo project, we included some EPUB files created by another author. Oxygen provides batch validation, so we'll invoke the validate action to check all of them for possible errors. All problems are reported in the Errors tab. Now we'll deal with sequence.epub. To solve the errors, we need to see the structure of the EPUB file. We'll just open it in the Archive Browser view, which presents all its bits and pieces, document content, XHTML and image files, packaging files, and container files. Next, we'll correct the errors. We'll take care of the first error. Double-click it to jump to its location in the source file. We'll rename the P1 element and validate again. Two errors left and both of them complain about missing resources. Also, the warning indicates that the images directory is empty, so it will be solved when the missing image is added into the images directory. To solve the last error, we add the missing HTML file into the topics folder. Now the EPUB should be complete. To make sure of that, we'll invoke the validate and check for completeness action. Another useful feature is the ability to search for content inside an EPUB file. Let's open the flowers.epub in our system's default EPUB viewer. Now, this calls for a name change. More specifically, we need to add the scientific name of the snowdrop. Let's search for the word snow in the entire EPUB structure. See that the scope is set to open the archive. All hits of the word snow are listed in the results panel. We open the table of contents file and switch to the author mode. Double-clicking on the tab's name maximizes the working area. See how Oxygen XML renders EPUB and CX files as hierarchical lists of HTML files. Every entry in the table of contents is a reference to an HTML file. Click on Snowdrop reference to access the HTML source file. Now we edit the title and add the Snowdrop's scientific name which is Galantus nivalis. We save the modifications, which actually affect the content of the EPUB. When we save this modification, we actually update the content of the EPUB. Then we validate to make sure that the integrity of the EPUB is intact. Now we'll open the EPUB in our system's default EPUB viewer.
And this concludes our demonstration. Thanks for watching.